Ooh, that's hot. Oh, look at that. Them are some chicken wings. <laughs> Thank you.
All right, welcome back to another adventure, you guys. We're out in North Idaho, and it's beautiful. We've got the sun actually showing up. <laughs> We've got a ton of snow, and we're just gonna have a good time, you guys. So I got the tent all set up. This is a dome tent from Pomali. It's nice and big. Definitely like it. So we're gonna hang out here tonight. Um, I've got some good food to cook, and just gonna relax and have a good time. Kind of the normal, you know? Just what we like to do. It's already almost two in the afternoon and we don't have a whole lot of sunlight left. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you guys. I got that nice and tall. If you saw my last video, I burned a hole in my tent, but that's okay. Hopefully I have this one high enough. I mean, it looks like it's as high as the trees. <laughs> Let's roll up our sleeves and go get some wood. So I know what you're thinking. This guy didn't even go out there and cut that wood. You know what? You wouldn't be wrong. I brought this wood from home because I like to make things easy on myself. And being out there in the middle of the woods at night chopping wood isn't always my favorite thing to do. So if you're new to the channel, I'm not a bushcrafter, you guys. I just like to make things easy. Have a good time out camping. I'm all about the simple life, you know? <laughs> all right, so inside the tent here, we are looking at 34 degrees inside and it's 28 degrees Fahrenheit outside, which is negative two Celsius outside and one Celsius inside. So there's quite the difference in here just from outside. I don't really get it. I don't know if this thing is actually all that accurate. Accurite. I don't know if you are, you might be accu wrong. <laughs> so let's fire up that stove. Instant fire starter. Works great. Oh man, it is cold in here. All right, we need the oven tonight. We're gonna make some chicken wings in the oven. <laughs> Should taste great. At least I hope so. They're store-bought chicken wings. Once again, trying to make it simple on me. This go around at least. I'm 
might have to take out the side racks. There we go. Sit that oven on there. Perfect. Now we just got to get our shelf in. We're in business. The oven is on. We'll wait for that temperature to rise and we'll be good to go. All right, we'll get those chicken wings in the pan. Make it nice and easy on us tonight. That looks good. Go ahead and throw it in. Probably go on the bottom, bottom rack. All right, we're cooking. We got those chickens in the oven. Shouldn't take too long. They're already pre-cooked. Um, just got to really heat them up. But we'll see if we can get the uh, temperature of this oven to rise quickly. Because I'm hungry. So currently, we're looking at 35 degrees Fahrenheit inside the tent. Which is 2 degrees Celsius. Can you see that? I still have one of the big doors open. I think it's about time to close it up um, because I've got to dry out my boots. <laughs> my feet are soaked. I don't know what happened. I guess it's just running around this whole entire place all day. Gotta get these gators off. Yeah, these things are really wet. My socks are soaked too. I always have extra, so that's good. Maybe I just need some more waterproofing on these. I don't know. They've been a good boot. Sorrel's. But right now, I am soaked. Soaked, soaked. All right, let's take a look at those real quick. Might need to rotate them. Ooh, that's hot. Okay, let's see here. Okay. Oh, looking pretty good. Maybe I'll, I'll keep going. But we'll just rotate them. Keep on cooking, chicken. Just a little bit longer on those chickens. Oh, it smells so good in here. So this tent is really cozy in here and it's very spacious. I was really surprised. Um, there's plenty of room in here. It's got quite a few little air vents here. Let in a little bit of air. You got three of those. You got a door there by the stove. Another vent over there. Another door. Another vent by all my junk. And another door. It's nice and spacious. I've got all my other stuff up there too. And I can semi-stand in it. I'm not super tall, you guys. 
but uh, I can move around and put my coat on and all that. So I like it. It's pretty cool. Got to add a log to our oven here. It's going out. Can't be having that. Made it nice and toasty. Need to make a bed for our chickens. Nice little, little veggie bed. They really like that. It's kind of their favorite thing. Little veggie bed. Give them a couple friends too, you know. Some carrots. And some celery. Just some carrots and celery, you know. Good stuff. Don't that look like a nice veggie bed? All right, let's check them chicken wings. I think they're ready to go. They're looking really good. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice and crispy. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. I think we're ready to sauce them up. All right, we're gonna toss them in this Japanese barbecue sauce. Ooh. Just drizzle that in there. Let's see if I can do this with uh, another pan. Look at that, you guys. Oh man, some nice chicken wings. Bring it over here to its bed and we'll just put them in the bed. Here we go. Oh man, yeah. Oh, those look good. That looks really good, you guys. Maybe a drizzle more of that sauce just over the top. It's kind of just like that. Oh, yeah. Definitely, Father Lord, I just thank you for the opportunity to come out here and, and play in your creation and just see all the beautiful things that you've done. I thank you so much for Jesus and what he's done for us. You took our place on that cross, Lord, and I can't thank you enough. It's by your grace and your mercy, Lord, that we're here, and I just thank you for that. Lord, be with me tonight. Keep the family safe as I'm away, and I pray that you'll bless this food to my body. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Oh boy, you guys, look at that. Those are some chicken wangs. <laughs> and they look and they smell delicious. The barbecue sauce that I'm using is a barbecue sauce that my brother gave to me before he passed away. And I never had the opportunity to try it, so I'm going to try it tonight. And this is for you, brother. Mm. He definitely wasn't wrong, because it's delicious. <laughs> well, I'm going to save you the agony of watching me eat this. So I'll let you guys kind of uh, look around at something else. And I'll get back to you after I'm done. Nobody wants to see anybody chew on chicken bones. <laughs> Alright, we gotta turn the oven off. That was easy. Man, dinner was good. Them chicken wings, tell you what. <laughs> and that sauce, woo, that's really good sauce. So glad my brother shared that with me. I'll be trying that with some different recipes for sure. Well, it's time for a dessert. A redemption dessert. I got one of those hot chocolate balls again. <laughs> Last time I messed up because I didn't read the directions. You got to use milk. So I had a lot of you guys suggesting powdered milk. 
which is genius when you're camping. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna mix up this little hot chocolate ball and hopefully it's much more tasty than the last time. I think it will be. All right, I got my water here. I'm not sure how much of this powdered milk I'm supposed to add in, but just kind of go until it kind of looks good, I guess. <laughs> Maybe something like that. We'll stir it up. Oh, don't that look tasty. Guess I could give it a try to see if it's good. Needs a little more powder. Just like I remember as a kid. <laughs> Not very pleasant, <laughs> no. So I'll go ahead and set this thing on the fire. And we'll let that thing get nice and toasty. Well, I have high hopes for this one. I think we're gonna get it right. About time. <laughs> All right, hot chocolate ball. This is a peppermint one leftover from the holidays you know nice looking little hot chocolate ball there we'll just uh unwrap that thing Just thinking about putting this in the coffee that would be good too but redemption okay nice and hot See that thing melt? Come on, melt. All right. We're going to have chocolate milk now. Oh, there's the little marshmallows. Look at that cute little maller. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is going to be much better. This looks much better than the last time. For sure. <laughs> I can smell the uh, the peppermint in it, too. Oh boy, that's much better, way better. Oh, it feels so good going down the belly. That's what I love about like hot chocolate, hot coffee. When it's cold like this, you always feel it going down to the belly. <laughs> I love it. Now, one of you mentioned that I forgot dessert last time, so I had to have two desserts this time. So I've got another chocolate. <laughs> this one looks like it's from Germany though, milk. Chocolade. Milk chocolade. I don't know how you say it, but it looks delicious. So I'm going to try that as well. It's a chocolate night, I guess. Looks delicious. It's like the golden ticket. Oh, that looks like some tasty chocolate right there. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, that's really creamy. Oh, man, that's good. That is some good chocolate. <laughs> I'm going to wash my chocolate down with more chocolate. That's enough sugar right there for sure. Oh, that's a lot of chocolate. Got me going. <laughs> so we need to go set up the trail cam. And then there's an app that I want to show you guys. And it's really cool. And it's the perfect night for it. So let's go set up that trail cam and I'll show you the app. Where do we want to put her? We got trees all around us. <laughs> I want something that's looking at the tent. Only thing that I've seen out here so far is bunny tracks. Not a whole lot walks through these woods when it's super, super thick like this. See, look, here's bunny tracks right here. More bunnies. go kind of low with it. Oh, 
Okay. Turn it on, and we're all set. Now I'll have to show you guys that app real quick. We gotta go where it's really dark, really dark. Okay, so I stumbled upon this app. No, like, it's not an affiliate or anything like that. Um, I'm not getting paid to say this, but I just found this app, and it's called Skyview Light. So what happens is when you click on it, it shows you all of the stars. Maybe you've seen something like this before. And the little red line right there is the horizon. So right there, I'm looking south. Southwest. West. Northwest. And that's where I want to be looking right now. Because as you can see right there, I can see the Milky Way. <laughs> Isn't that cool? This time of year, it's way down below. I don't really know why or what it does. Hey, look at that. That's the uh, Hubble Space Telescope. <laughs> so anyways, what's really cool about this is you can see right there is the Milky Way. You can also see all the little planets and stuff. Where was it? I just saw, oh, that big bright one right there is Mars. I thought I saw another one. Oh, right there. No, I can't see that in the sky. That's uh, Jupiter. And right there's the moon. The moon's coming. So what this is really cool for is photography. Like astro... How, blah, blah. how do you say it? <laughs> Astrophotography. Astrophotography. What this is really cool for is astro blah. <laughs> but yeah, it's really fun just to look around the solar system at all of the things that the Lord has created. <laughs> it's amazing. So what I would like to do is I like to be able to find the Milky Way. This isn't the, this isn't the time of year to really do this for me um, because the Milky Way is pointing down. But I can at least get a tail of it. So what I'll do is I'll set up my phone, now that I know where it's at, set it up and see what we can capture. I've got to turn off all the lights now though. Lights out. Okay, I've got it set to max. We'll see what that does. Wow, that is really cool. Oh man, it looks cool, but it's definitely not the Milky Way. I just can't quite capture it. If you have the Milky Way in a perfect spot, it sure does look cool, you guys. Um, and you can do this on most phones nowadays. It's just a long exposure. Anyways, I thought I'd show you guys that, just kind of something fun. I just love looking at the sky when I'm sitting outside. There's so many cool things. Oh, hey, look, the Big Dipper. No, that's the Little Dipper. There's the moon. It's not quite accurate, but it's good enough, I guess. All right, you guys, it's getting late. I gotta get back into the tent, get ready for bed. All right, back to the tent. Hopefully the fire's still going. We gotta make our bed now. I think it's uh, it's getting late. It's about nine o'clock, so it's bedtime, guys. It's bedtime. Whoa.
Time for some new socks. <laughs> These ones are soaked. Look at them steaming. <laughs> uh, it's like it's on fire. That is so weird. That is strange. <laughs> Much better. Woohoo. <laughs> all right, well, I'm all cozied up in bed. Feels really good to lay down and relax. I've been doing nothing but go, go, go. But that's all right. I love it. This place is beautiful. I love North Idaho. One of my favorite places. <laughs> so the tent's doing really well. Um, it's nice and warm in here. I feel great. I can't see the thermometer over there. It's turned around. Oh well. Um, but it feels really nice and warm in here. So that's definitely a plus. It's always a plus when you can stay nice and warm in a cold night. Uh, so I'm probably just gonna relax the rest of the night. Maybe watch a movie. I don't know. Just take it easy, you know? And then I'm gonna catch some Z's cause I'm tired. So you know what that means? I'm going to see all of you in the morning. Good night. Start that fire. It's cold. Well, good morning. It got cold. <laughs> got that fire started. See if we can warm it up in here. Looks like we got a low of 24 degrees Fahrenheit outside, which is negative five Celsius. And let's see here, what was the maximum? The minimum last night was 15 degrees Fahrenheit, which is negative nine celsius so huh, i need some coffee that's what i need
All right, now it's a good morning. Nice warm coffee. Oh yeah. Whew, that feels good. Well, it looks like it's starting to snow out there, you guys. I really wasn't expecting that. We're going with some salsa eggs today. Whoo yeah. I know it doesn't look good right now. Can you throw this in a burrito? Oh boy. Talk about tasty. All right, those are done. Then we just gotta throw it on our burrito. Oh, this is gonna be massive. <laughs> Mondo burrito, definitely. All right, so let's go ahead and fold this up. Throw some cheese in there. We set our burrito right on top. Let's see what it looks like. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice and toasted. Whew, hot, 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 hot. Wow, look at that. That is a breakfast burrito right there. Nice and crispy with the, uh, the cheese on top there. It's the way you do it. I'm telling you what, salsa eggs are amazing too. You gotta try it. Oh, that makes for a nice crispy burrito right there. Cheesy, salsa-y, meaty, eggy. <laughs> Just good, downright good.
All right, you guys, I got it all packed up. I'm ready to get out of here. Sure was a whole lot of fun out here. I love this place. I've been here before. You might have uh, recognized some of it, but I sure had a whole lot of fun, you guys. Oh, also, if you're wondering, I did not catch anything on the trail cam. Nothing at all. <laughs> Maybe next time. All right, well, I got to hightail it out of here. Get home to the family and uh, make it there safely. So as always, thank you so much for watching, everybody. God bless, and I will see you on the next episode. Bye!